All Aboard, bringing you board games, tonight on All Aboard. With modern scientific breakthroughs, humans and dinosaurs have begun existing side by side, giving rise to the lucrative industry of dino ranching. In Tiny Epic Dinosaurs, we will compete to operate the best dinosaur ranch by doing scientific research, building enclosures, capturing dinosaurs, breeding dinosaurs, and selling our dinosaurs to fulfill contracts and gain more victory points. Hi guys, my name is Bly. And my name is Pat. You're very welcome to All Aboard. At this point, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles, so if we make any rule errors, we can place them there. And if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with the timecode and we'll add them to the subtitles. So we've randomly chosen the starting player and that's going to be me, so that means that Gly starts with one plant. So Tiny Epic Dinosaurs is a worker placement game. And to set up the game, first of all, what we do is place out these four mats. So they're labeled A, B, C, and D. And just be sure to put them on the right side, relevant to the number of players who are playing. And you can see that up here in the corner of the mats. Over here, we have our round tracker. And then we have the contracts that we can fulfill to earn victory points. And over here are our research cards. Then we both have our player mats here and we have two mats each. One is to keep track of our resources and whatever dinosaurs we've picked up, whatever barriers we've picked up, and also what ranchers we have left, and they will be our workers. And the second mat here then is our ranch, and this has resources printed on it, so we will get those resources as long as we don't cover them up with our dinosaurs. And as I mentioned, Lai starts with one plant, and then these are going to be our supplies, our plants, and our meat and they'll just move around here on the outside of our board here to show how many of each of those resources we have. So the game takes place over six rounds and each round has seven phases. So you can see here the phases. First is the resource collection. We have the assigned ranchers, retrieve ranchers. We have arranged ranch, feed dinosaurs, breed dinosaurs, and lastly, refresh for the next round. And you'll see how those works as we play the game. Also, please take note that when you reach round four, you'll get one extra rancher each and also you get an additional private contract. That's right, yeah. So we start the game off with two private contracts and we'll be trying to fulfill this throughout the game. And so we have to choose one of those at the start and give one back. So let's do that now. Okay, so I think I made up my mind here. So I'm going to return this. Okay, mm -hmm. and that will get shuffled back in there. And just a moment, let me choose mine. Okay, I'm going to choose this one. So then the ones that we don't choose get shuffled back into the private contracts. And I go back here. Do you have the first player marker? Yes, here's the first player marker here. Okay. And the winner of the game will be the person who has most points at the end of the game. And you can get victory points from research cards, you get them from fulfilling your contracts, and you also get points for each of the different types of dinosaurs you have in your ranch at the end of the game. So first thing we do then is we do our resource collection. So for resource collection then we just check to see what's on our mat and there's nothing covered up just yet so we're going to get everything there. So we're both going to get three meat and five leaves and one supply. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, three meat yep. and one supply. And then we assign our ranchers. So this is the meat of the game and this is where we place our workers. So to place a worker, you can place it on any open space on the board and take that action. But if your opponent already has a rancher there on that space, you can pay two ranchers or one more than the person who has most ranchers on that space to take that action. But if any of your own ranchers are already on that space, then you can't take it again. And also one of your ranchers here, let me just show you here, is bigger than the other ones. And this rancher counts as two. So. No need to use him just yet. So for my first action, I'm going to come down here to the research area. 
And so there's two research areas down here and they just allow you to draw cards from the research area. So this particular one I'm taking means that I have to spend a leaf and a meat. So I spend one of each of those. And now I can either choose one of these three face up cards or I can draw three cards from the top of the research deck and then I must choose one of those three cards. And the other two will go into this area here so they'll be open for choosing by the other player or by yourself later in the round. So I would like to take this pterodactyl. So this is another dinosaur to go on my ranch. So I put him here and then I get the matching dinosaur. And so the pterodactyl says, pterodactyl may share a space with any other dinosaur in your ranch. And during phase two, and phase two is the assigned ranchers phase, you may spend one meat to move one dinosaur from your holding area to your ranch. And that's only once per round. So you tilt this card to indicate that it's been used. So let me do that. And for now, he just goes into my holding area. They don't actually go into our ranch just yet. They'll go into our ranch at the end of the round during the arranged ranch step, step four. Okay, so I am going to use one of my worker to to come here. So this action means that I will have to spend one supply to get two barriers. So that's my supply spent and I will have two barriers in my holding area. Okay. And once again, they'll go into your ranch during the arranged ranch step. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to me. Okay. I am going to pick up a dinosaur. So I think that I would like to get a Stegosaurus or maybe a Velociraptor. I'll go for a Velociraptor now. No, sorry, I'm going for a Stegosaurus. Okay, so I rolled a Wrangler die. So every time you pick up a dinosaur using this action, you have to roll this Wrangler die here. And depending on the result, a different thing happens. So if you get this net result, for example, then nothing special happens. You just catch your dinosaur. If you roll this wound, that means that both you and the dinosaur go into the medical leave area over here. Now that's not really a big disaster. It just means that your rancher is no longer blocking that space. So your opponent or even yourself in a later round can take it. And your dinosaur won't be in your holding area. Now there's an action on the board here that allows you to move dinosaurs from your holding area into your ranch. And when you fulfill a contract, which is basically selling your dinosaurs, you must take them from your ranch. So you won't be able to get them into your ranch that round if they're in medical leave. And then finally, there is this egg result. And that means that instead of picking up one, you pick up two of that type of dinosaur. Now this might be a good thing because of course you get more dinosaurs, but it might not necessarily be good because you must have room in your ranch to place them and you also must be able to feed all of your dinosaurs at the end of the round. Okay, so I'll roll and see what we get here. Oh, okay, so I just catch the dinosaur. <laughs> So I get a Stegosaurus into my holding area. Okay, so my big rancher is going here in the research and I am going to spend a leaf and a meat to get one of the research cards. So I'm going to take the Ankylosaurus. <laughs> okay. okay, so if you have the first player marker, any other player using the action to take it from you must also pay you two meat. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so it's going to come here. And this is the Ankylosaurus. Okay. It's going to come to my holding area. Wow, okay. So somebody's going to be after the first player token, I would say, fairly soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and back to me. All right, so I'm going to come in here to get another research card. So for this action, you have to pay any dinosaur from either your ranch, from your holding area or from medical leave. And then you can take one of these research cards. So I can take this one here or I can take three from the top of the deck. But I like this egg incubator here, so I'm going to take this one. And I just leave that there. And then I'm going to pay with the Stegosaurus in my holding area. Okay, and back to you. Back to me. 
Okay, so as expected, I'm going to come here and take the first player from okay. you. Okay, you yeah. may have that for the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping you will give me some meat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to okay. feed my dinosaur. So also after I take the first player, I can also uh, take one or more barriers from my ranch to my holding area. And during this phase, it doesn't matter if any of your dinosaurs are not in enclosures. That's right. Okay. okay. So back to you. Back to me. Okay, so you've no barriers to move around there, I see. Yes. My last action. Hmm. Okay, I think that I am going to get some barriers as well. So I'll just come in here and I have to spend a supply and I get two barriers. Okay, and for my last guy, I am going to take one velociraptor i think okay mm -hmm. and let's see if i can catch this oh, oh a, wound. a wound so my guy will go to the medical leave and also the velociraptor okay so you both hurt each other there mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah all right and that's it yes Okay, so the next phase then is to retrieve our ranchers. Okay, so let's get our guys back. Okay, and you'll get your dinosaur there as well. Mm-hmm. Your velociraptor. And the next phase is a range ranch. Okay, so this is where we put our barriers and our dinosaurs into our ranch here. Now, Mountains and water act as a natural barrier, but they can escape if they're not fully enclosed. So we all have one enclosure already from the start, but dinosaurs can escape out through here. And if one of your dinosaurs escapes, if you don't have any enclosure to keep them in, or if you don't have enough food to feed them, if it's a herbivore, then he will break one of your barriers on the way out. So you lose that dinosaur and you lose one of your barriers. And if it's a carnivore, he'll eat another dinosaur on the way out. So you lose that dinosaur plus one of your other dinosaurs. Now, you can only lose a maximum of one barrier and one extra dinosaur each round. So it doesn't matter how many of them escape. But you see here we have unique dinosaurs. Now, they have special rules for where they need to be placed. So if they're in an unenclosed space, they can share that space with other unique dinosaurs but they cannot share any enclosed space with any other dinosaur, be it unique or regular. But my pterodactyl actually is the exception because his special ability allows him to share a space with any other dinosaur in your ranch. So he doesn't need his own space even. Okay, so let's arrange a ranch. Okay. So I would say my guy, my two barriers will come here mm, i'll put my unique dinosaur here and one of my guy there and you're done mm -hmm. okay so i am going to i guess build a space here so this area is now enclosed and this area is not and my pterodactyl can go anywhere, so he's just going to go in here. Okay, so after we arrange our ranch, we're going to feed the dinosaurs. So my ankylosaurus is a herbivore, and he eats one leaf. And my velociraptor is a carnivore, so he eats one meat. Okay, and my pterodactyl eats a meat, and that's all I have for now. And, okay. So then... We breed dinosaurs. Okay, so this only happens if we have two or more of a type of dinosaur. So for every set of two for each type of dinosaur that we have, it will breed one extra dinosaur now. And that dinosaur must be able to fit inside the enclosure, either inside that same enclosure with that type of dinosaur or in another enclosure on its own. So we don't have to worry about that now. Yes, okay, so now refresh for the next round okay so that just means that we replace all research cards there's none left there so we just deal out three new ones so we've got a diplodocus 
and we have uh, De Nocheris, and we have Enclosure Upgrades. Okay, and we also move around Trucker. Okay, and if we had taken any public contracts, they would be replaced at this stage too, but nobody has taken any yet. Okay. Okay, so back to the first phase, which is resource collection. All right, so... I still I have guess. five a leaf. So one, two, three, four, five, three meat, one, two, three, and one supply. Okay, and I also get three meat, one, two, three, five leaves, which brings you up to nine, and one supply. Okay, so next is assign rancher. So I'm the first player now. Okay. So my first action is I'm going to collect two barriers. So I'll spend one supply to get two barriers. All right, I'm going to come in here and spend a leaf and a meat. And I'm going to take the, how do you pronounce this guy, uh, Deno Cheris. So once around, instead of placing a rancher on an action space, you may place it on this card, then collect resources based on what is showing in your ranch, as if it were phase one. So I place him here. Okay, so I am going to take a Stegosaurus. Oh, and can I have this dinosaur, please? Ah. Okay, and he goes into my holding area as well. Okay, so I'm going to get a Stegosaurus. So let's see if I can catch it. Oh, I catch it. Oh, oh okay. Stegosaurus. All right. Okay. Let's, let's, these cards are going to get a little confused. So yeah. should we move them over? Yes, let's move them. Okay, I'll just move those in there. All right, so it is your turn. It's back to me. Okay, so do I want to give you two meat and take that first player? <laughs> <laughs> Not my first priority of things to do. So I am going to, let me see. I'm going to come and take a Brachiosaurus, I think. So I'll come in here and roll the Wrangler die. And I just Actually, get a Brachiosaurus. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's in my holding area now. Okay, so my next action is I am going to come here and take two supplies. Okay. Let's take this one out there. Okay, so I'm going to take the special ability of my Dino Chariots now. And he can be fed a meat or a leaf, which is good. So this means that once per round, instead of placing a rancher on an action space, you may place it on this card. Then collect resources based on what's showing in your ranch, as if it were phase one. So I just tip that to the side to show it's being used. Although the rancher there will show it's being used. And then I get three meat. So I'm up to six and five leaves so i'm up to my maximum of 13 and it's back to you i'll come here and spend a resource i'll come there and spend a supply to get stegosaurus okay and you don't have to roll the wrangler die this time right yes okay and my final action is i only have one type of dinosaur there and i don't have all the supplies that i li i would like so should I take some supplies and then I can get another type of dinosaur or should I take some barriers? I th think that I'm going to go for the supplies this time. So I'll take two supplies from here. One, two. And back to you. Okay, so we're done assigning all our guys. Okay. So retrieve ranchers. All right. Three, four. Next is a ranged ranch. So I think that my guy is going to come here. I'm just going to come there. Okay, so I will put my guys in here. Alright. 
and done. Yes. And I am just going to put my Brachiosaur in here and my Dinocherius can go in. Do I need meat? I think I need meat more than leaves. So I'll cover up that leaf there. And because they're in an open area, they're all right to share that space. Oh, wait. The pterodactyl can share a space with any other dinosaur. Okay, so he doesn't have to cover up any spaces. All right, and that's the rearranged ranch steps. So feed the dinosaurs. So okay. I have uh, one, two, three, one, two, three leaves and one meat. Okay, and the cards here tell you what they eat. So the stegosaurus, for example, eats one leaf, whereas the brachiosaurus eats two, the allosaurus eats two meat, and this Dino Cherius eats either one meat or one leaf. I can choose which. So I need to feed my pterodactyl uh, meat and I'm going to feed two leaves for my Brachiosaurus and one for the Dino Cherius. Okay, so now we can breed our dinosaurs. I am going to have one, uh, one Stegosaurus. Okay, and I'm going to use my egg incubator, so I'm going to spend two resources here, and I can add one regular dinosaur, so I'm going to add another brachiosaur, and he just go here. Okay, so then refresh for the next round. Okay, so these research cards are gone, and we get three new ones, so Tyrannosaurus Rex, maximum habitat, and that gives you points for having your having the most dinosaurs in your ranch, I think. And the Triceratops. Well, wow, they both take a lot of food. Okay, so this one will go here for next round. All Let's right. them there so we have a space for... We have a space... So we have a space for the dice. So next then, did we move the round marker down? Yes, I did. Okay, so collect resources. So I have four leaves, one, two, three, four, and then one meat and a resource. Okay, and as for me, I have three meat, so that brings me up to eight, and four leaves, so one, two, three, I'm almost full there, and another supply. Okay, so for my first action is I am going to uh, take an... Allosaurus. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can catch this dinosaur. Oh, yes. okay. Just catch him. Mm -hmm. Then we go to my holding area. Okay, I am going to get a Velociraptor, I think. Oh, you know what? No, I need barriers. So I'm going to spend a supply for two barriers. Okay, so I am going to take a Brachiosaurus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I just catch it as well. And back to me, I am going to take the Velociraptor here. So I roll the Wrangler die. And I just catch, catch one. Uh -huh. Okay, so he goes into my holding area. Okay, so I am going to to uh, take this one and I'll spend one supply to bring one of my guy here, uh, here. Oh, he here. goes, oh yeah, that's right, he goes in your ranch. Yeah, he goes in my ranch. So move one, uh, one times, I said, so one dinosaur to your ranch and I can also move any barrier, but I think the barriers are okay there. And you're happy with the layout, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. all right, so it's back to me. Yes. So I think that I am going to get a couple of supplies. I think supplies are important to my strategy here. Yeah, so two supplies. Okay, so I am... Oh, so my unique uh, dinosaur here can't stay here because it can't share with another uh, dinosaur. Oh, right. So it's going to come here on top of the meat and I'll move this guy here. All right. So, so. I still, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference, right? It mm -hmm. still would have been the same resources. Okay. So then my next action then is to take one barrier. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Do this one. I think then for my last action, I'm going to. I don't want to take the first player from you because it's going to cost me two meat. Do you have a lot of meat so you can share? <laughs> <laughs> I think what I might do is. Triceratops just eat so many leaves, you know, that it's a. Uh, like, I might be able to afford it, but these guys are going to eat two each. I wonder is it worth taking him? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to chance it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to spend a meat and a leaf, and I'm going to take the triceratops. And so he is now here in my holding area. Okay, so then now we will retrieve our ranchers. Okay. Back after a hard day's work yeah, out on the ranch. And then arrange the ranch. All right. I think I'm just going to come here. Oh, I love a little enclosure there. Yeah. And I'm going to put my two barriers across here. And these two guys are going to come in here because they have to be in an open space. And my Triceratops is going to come in here. So my Velociraptor can come in here. Mm. Do I need meat? I need leaves more than meat, right? Well, I'm going to lose a lot of leaves here. So let me put the Velociraptor in here. Brachiosaurus here. And I'll cover up this meat. Okay, so after we arrange is we feed the dinosaurs. Okay. So the, I have one, two, three, four, four herbivores, so four leaves, plus this is going to take two leaves, so six leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I need one, two, plus uh, three meat. So one, two, three. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, my Velociraptor is going to eat one meat. And then my Pterodactyl is going to eat a meat. And my two Brachiosaurs are going to eat two each. And then three for the Triceratops. So that's seven. Leave me with five. Wow. And then I have to feed the Dinocherius, and I guess he will eat a, hmm, he'll eat a, a leaf for now. Okay, so next is breed dinosaurs. Okay, so. so I am going to have one uh, Stegosaurus. And I get a Brachiosaurus. And then let's refresh for next round. So let me just see if I need a meter. No, I think I need my leaves very badly here. So so let's take this out and we put out the new cards, three cards. Yeah, so this time we have the Adreno injectors. We have a Parasaurolophus and mobile barriers. And this will now go to fourth and we get our new ranchers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we Welcome also get the team. Yeah, we also get uh, one new private contract each. Okay, so let me shuffle these again. Haven't even fulfilled the first one yeah. yet. Okay, here you go. New private contract each. So for my first action, I am gonna come here and spend one of my stegosaurus. Okay. Oh, wait, just one moment. Uh, so on the breeding phase, I'm also going to spend two supplies to get a dinosaur, a regular dinosaur. And I want to get, uh, he goes into my holding area, is it? Where is it? The egg incubator to my holding area. Yeah, so I get one of these velociraptors in my holding area. 
Okay, to, so I'm going to get the Adreno injectors. So on phase two, after you have placed all of your ranchers, you may pay one supply to move one of your ranchers from its current action space to a different empty action space and take that action. Okay, oh, hang on a second. Before we assigned, we should uh, collect resources. Oh, that's true, yeah. So I have one, two, three. One, two, three leaf, and then one meat. Okay, and I get four leaves, so I'm up to eight, and no meat and one supply. Okay, so it's your turn now. Okay, Back so. To the assigned ranchers. Yeah. Okay, I think that I might go in here. Uh, yeah, I go in here to get the Parasaurol office. So I spend one of each of these. And he can join my gang up here. Oh, you can move this one here. Okay. And here's a parasaur off. So, so many unique dinosaurs. <laughs> mm. Wow, you've got loads of cards there, yeah? Okay, so for my second action, I am going to come here. And this is the time that I think I do my contract. Okay. So I'm going to do this contract and I'm also going to do my private contract. Oh, wow. Okay. So here are two of my Stegosaurus and then one here. And then I also have one Velociraptor here, one Allosaurus here one of my unique dinosaur there and then one brachiosaurus here <laughs> oh, wow it's so everything so, yeah so before because i use my unique dinosaur uh this ankylosaurus will now be discarded oh, so i can take the first player again yeah. <laughs> okay so these are the two contracts wow so that's a lot of points and back to me back to you okay Okay, I think that I would like, I'd like to get my hands on a Stegosaurus. So let me roll the Wrangler die. Oh, an oh, egg. An okay, egg. so two Stegosauruses. Mm. So they go in here. Okay, so I am going to get a Brachiosaurus. So come here. Let's see. I hope Good I get luck. an egg as well. Oh, I <laughs> just caught it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And back to my good self. I think that I might need to get some barriers actually. So I'm going to take two barriers. So you spend two, one re supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a supply. Okay, so I am going to come here and get one uh, Stegosaurus. So let me change that. Sorry, I'm only going to I'm going to take this action instead. So I'm not going to spend supply, and I'm only going to get one barrier. So this is open if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there you go. Get an egg. So that means I get two Stegosaurus on my holding. Yeah, it's because you sent your big guy out. He's going to carry two of them. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. okay. All right, so what would I like here now? My ranch is filling up and it's getting a little bit crazy in there. I think this time I will go for an. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go for an Allosaurus. So I'll move my guy in here. Catch it. Catches one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Maybe I made the wrong choice. So we'll see. So I'm going to take a uh, two meat. I think one, two. And then your turn. And my turn. Okay. So I'm going to take my special action, and that's the the notarius, to get one, two, three, four leaves. One, wow. two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to take my special action, which is the Adreno injectors as well. 
so I can take one of my guys here and put it in an empty uh, space. Okay, and that so, costs a supply, yeah? Yes, that will cost, yeah, I will, yeah, it cost me a supply and I think I'm going to come, yeah, I think I'm going to come here and take one of the Velociraptor. <laughs> okay. Okay. And let's see what I did. Oh, I catch I it. Caught him, mm -hmm. right. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Okay. And let's go to retrieve ranchers. Okay, now we see how badly I've organized this. I have too many dinosaurs. I hope I can mm -hmm. fit them all in. I didn't plan very well. Oh, you have a lot of uh, unique dinosaurs. No? Yeah. Okay, so rearrange the ranch. Okay, but you cannot rearrange your barriers. That's mm -hmm. correct, yes. Although I do have one extra barrier which will go in here uh, for now. This guy is gonna come there. And this guy gonna come here. And this guy's gonna come here. Okay, and for mine, so I put this here. Now let me what I can do this velociraptor is going to be with this one here so they're going to have to go in there oh things could go really badly for me here this guy is going to he's going to go in here I guess he's going to lie down there and the allosaurus will come in here and I have two stegosauruses that can go, oh, I did judge that very badly. So... They're going to escape. Someone's going to escape, yeah, I might lose a barrier here. I didn't plan that very well at all. I think my two stegosauruses are just going to have to escape. Okay, so... Uh, if I put... Let's see, this guy in there, then two of them are going to escape, right? So it doesn't make any sense. So I just put him in here. Okay, so my two Stegosaurus have nowhere to go. So they're both going to escape. So I am going to lose these barriers. I'm going to lose one barrier because you can only lose a maximum of one per round. So I think I'm going to lose this one here. And so that's going to mean that these two Velociraptors aren't going to breed this round. Okay, unfortunately they're not going to be able to breed because I don't want to open this one and <laughs> uh, mix them up. So, so that's my penalty. Okay, so now we go to uh, feed the dinosaurs. Okay. So I only I need to feed this. So one, two, and this it's two leaves. So three, four, four leaves. So one, two, three, four, and this it's one meat. Okay. So my three brachiosaurs are going to eat six, six. leaves. So I'm losing with five. And my Parasaurolophus eats one. The Triceratops will eat three one two three wow and then my pterodactyl will eat a meat and i can feed the dinoceros a leaf so that's my last leaf and then i have my allosaurus i didn't feed him yet right yes so that's two meat okay. wow and now we're going to breeding. So my two Stegosaurus will have a new guy in the team. Okay. And that's it. And my Brachiosaurus is going to come in here. And wow. these guys can't breed because of the barrier. I have a lot of that. Yeah. Okay, so next is refresh for next round. Okay, so we get, this is gone now, we mm -hmm. get three more. So we have the Dilophosaurus, 
We have dino food additives, so that's good to feed everyone. Yeah. And we have a breeding center, so that can help breed another dinosaur. And we have a new public. And I can spend two. I can spend two supplies to add any one regular dinosaur to my holding area. So I'm going to do that. One, two. And I'm going to add a stegosaurus to my holding area. Okay, so I added a new public contract. Okay. And then that's now is the fifth round. Okay, and so you go first. I go first. So I think that I am gonna come here and I'll spend one of my stegosaurus to take the food additive. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that's great. Is, yeah, I think this is important. So this is now refreshed again. Mm -hmm. So dino food additives. You may discard this card to feed all of your dinosaurs. That's so nice, right? Mm -hmm. Especially, I could do it that now. Look at yeah. that. Okay, and next it's is your turn. So, did we get our resources? Oh, that's true. Let's collect resources. So, so one supply, one leaf just one, for me. One, two, three meat, and one, two, three leaves. One, two, three leaves. Okay. Okay, and back to me. Yes. Okay, for my first action, I am going to take a Velociraptor. Okay, so we both go into medical leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to take an Allosaurus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we get ah. oh, we're in medical leave as well. Go to medical leave. Okay, <laughs> I'm going for. I love these velociraptors, so I'm going for a <laughs> velociraptor. Okay, oh, nice. I I just it. caught him. So he goes in my holding area. Okay, so I am going to take another. Uh, Allosaurus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might get two here yeah. if you're lucky. Oh, I just okay. catch it. So it goes to my holding area. Okay, and I'm going to move. Let's see, where is that action? It's over here. So I'm going. Oh. Oh, bother. This really did not break out. Why, the way I was expecting. I wasted an action there that I didn't want to waste. That guy moving into medical leave messed up my entire turn. So I'm going to just fulfill a contract. And do your contract again. <laughs> yeah. That guy going into medical leave meant that I really, I lost everything that round. Because it meant that I can't use this Allosaurus. I can't get him back out. I see. All right, so I am going to... Oh, I forgot. Sorry. When when my Parasaur... Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So I'm not going to fulfill this contract just yet. Hold on. I forgot. My Parasaur office gives me two of the resource that's covering. So instead of getting zero supplies, I get two supplies. Mm -hmm. That was during yeah. that, that phase. And that was where my calculations had gone wrong. Okay. So now I'm going to take the action. I'm going to move in here and I'm going to move this Velociraptor from my holding area to my ranch and that's going to cost one supply. And it doesn't matter that they're not in barriers at the moment or in enclosures. Okay. So back to you. Back to me. So this is in here. I have one supply. Okay, so I'm going to come here and take a brachiosaurus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I catch it. <laughs> I just catch it. Okay, and I'm going to move in here, and this time I'm going to fulfill the contract. So I'm going to do this one. So clear out the need for so much food. So that's two brachiosaurus and this Velociraptor 
and I'm also going to do a private contract which is going to be this one here so that's going to be two more velociraptors a brachiosaurus and a unique dinosaur and yes I want to keep him so the triceratops who's costing so much food can go okay. so that fulfills both of those and I lose my triceratops card and these just come over here space no it's oh, okay yeah. I don't need to see those anymore so oh yeah this one also need that there okay so I still have one action oh no actually two because I still have this guy oh yeah can I feed all of them <laughs> so are this going to be one two three four five six so I still have enough leaves. This is going to be one, two, three. Okay, so let me come here and take uh, two supplies. Oh, good move, okay. So back to me, so I am going to use my special action here to get one, two, three, four leaves and two meat. So that's five and two. And then for my adreno injector, yeah, I'm going to use that. So I spend one supply. Okay. And then I'll. Uh huh. What do I need? How many meat do I need later? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. So I am going to spend another supply one two yeah i'm going to spend another supply to use my adreno injector for my guy to come here and spend one supply for another um for one velociraptor okay okay so i think that's it okay so we retrieve our guys and and also our dinosaurs. Our dinosaurs from medical leave, yeah. Wow, that medical wow. Leave, leave nearly messed me up because I had to take that action a second time so I could get him into the holding area so that yeah. I could get him into the ranch. Wow. wow. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to uh, arrange. Arrange the ranch. the ranch. Okay, so let's see where these new dinosaurs can go. I think I overtook some dinosaurs and now... I did that the last time. We can go in here. What do I need more of meat, I guess? Still go there. Rearrange. Oh, this is unfortunate. Also, maybe I'll bring this. Mm -hmm. No, then maybe I'll leave this there. I'll put my guys there. And lose the stegosaurus. Yeah, they're cheaper. All right, so now feed the dinosaurs. Okay, so first of all, after rearranging our ranches, I think we're going to have some escaping yeah. dinosaurs, right? So your two stegosaurus will escape and you will lose one barrier. Yeah, so these two stegosaurus will escape and then I lose, uh, maybe I'll lose this barrier. Okay, so oh, but wait. it doesn't matter if some of them will escape from here on in. It won't affect them, but they won't be able to breed. They won't be able to breed. And remember, only dinosaurs that are in the same enclosure will breed. So these two guys aren't going to breed because they're separated. Yes. Okay, so let me... So they can't breed, right? If I lose that. Yeah. So I might as well just take this out since this guy can't breed. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to lose this Velociraptor and he is going to... Oh, he's going to eat a dinosaur on his way out, isn't he? Yeah, in an, in an enclosure and lose a, okay. lose a barricade. He is going to run away and because he's a carnivore, he's going to eat... Unfortunately, my pterodactyl, who I forgot to actually use, he was supposed to be able to spend one meat to move a guy from a holding area into my ranch, which would have solved my problem the last round, but I forgot about it. And that's unfortunate. So let me see if that's who I want to lose now. Maybe I can use him this time. Yeah, the pterodactyl is the only one that makes sense to lose. So I lose my pterodactyl as well. Okay. He gets eaten. So now let me feed my guys first. So these guys are herbivores. So one, two, three, four. Four leaves. One, two, three, four. Two meat plus two meat is four. Five, six. So oh, all of my exactly what you had, yeah. All of my meat. Okay, and I need to check mine now. So I am going to feed two meat to the Allosaurus, two, uh, the Dinocerus uh, can eat a meat, and then I need to feed my Parasaurolophus one vegetable or one leaf, and two for the Brachiosaur and one for the Stegosaur. So that's one, two, three. So I have no meat, I have one supply and, and one, one leaf. leaf. Okay, so after the feeding is the breeding. So I'm going to have one Brachiosaurus here. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to have another Allosaurus. And this uh, two ve uh, Velociraptor won't be able to breed. Okay. Because there's no enclosure here. Mm -hmm. All right. And now just as part of the rearrangement, do I want him here or here? I think I could do with some extra leaves. So I'm going to switch those guys there and there. Okay. And next is refresh. Yes. Okay. So I didn't get to breed anyone and we get a new public contract. Oh, that's nice for, for you. Yeah, but I don't have a stegosaurus. And these two mm -hmm. are gone and we get three more research cards out. So we get the plesiosaurus. We get the Dimetrodon and we get some carnivore DNA log. Okay. Okay. So next is, uh, let's ref uh, refresh. So this is the last round. Okay. And, and collect uh, resources. Yes. So I only collect two meat, one, two, and one leaf. Okay, and my Parasaurolophus is going to give me two leaves. So one, two, and then I get one, two, three, four leaves. So that's seven and just one meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so assign ranchers. So my first guy is going to come here and I'll spend one of my Velociraptor. Okay. Okay, so he's out now to take the Plesiosaurus. Place Plesiosaurus into your ranch water space. You cannot acquire this card if another water dinosaur occupies that space. Plesiosaurus may be used as any dinosaur species for fulfilling any contract card. Oh. So it goes straight to my water space and not on the ranch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I will go here and your turn. Okay, so I think I'm just going to start by fulfilling a contract. Mm -hmm. So I will fulfill this one here. And that's going to be an Allosaurus, a Brachiosaurus and a Stegosaurus. And that's it. Oh. Okay, so I am going to take one uh, Allosaurus. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh. Maybe to the 
holding She's going area. to the holding area, to the medical leave. Oh, sorry, the medical leave, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, and... And I think that I am going to take a uh, Velociraptor. Uh, is that okay? Hold on. You know what? No, I'm going to spend a meat and a leaf. And I'm going to take the Dimetrodon. Gain one additional resource of your choice if the Dimetrodon is orthogonally adjacent to water. Okay. That's okay. I can put him in here. Okay, hold it here a bit. And the Dimetrodon is here. Okay. Now I'm going to take uh, two uh, supplies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. And. Oh, that's so. Okay, I think I'll take a Brachiosaur. And I have to roll the Wrangler yeah. deck. Let's see if you catch it. Or you're okay. going to or a leave. nice egg. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Catch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so he just comes in there. All right, so hmm. I am going to come here and try to get a Stegosaurus. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And see what he got. Ah. Oh, he goes oh into the God. medical leave. Yeah, this is so bad. <laughs> ah, that's tough, isn't it? When you want yeah. to try to get him into your ranch. <laughs> so that means nothing is going on my ranch. Mm-hmm. Now, I am in trouble here, aren't I? I am indeed in trouble here. Okay, I will come in here and get two meat. Wow. That oh, sorry, no, I won't go in there and get two meat. I will come on top of my card here and get yeah. two, <laughs> yeah, two meat and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four leaves and one supply. That's true. That makes more sense, right? <laughs> Did you get your two meat? I got my two meat, yes. Okay. Wow. All the things that I want to do, I cannot do them now. So I think, yeah, I think that I am just going to come here okay. and spend one leaf and one meat. Yeah, your dino take, additives yeah, are going to be really useful. The carnivore DNA lag. At the end of the game, gain five victory points if you have the most carnivores in your ranch. Yeah, I think you're safe on that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your last guy? I still can do something. Oh, well, if you spent your supply, yeah, with your yeah. adrenal things. So what should I do for my last action? Yeah, this uh, medical leave has kind of like, you know, yeah. like this is my strategy. I can't put them in the ranch. That happened to me as well earlier. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to spend a supply to get another Brachiosaur. And oh. let's see what we get here. Give me an egg. Ah. <laughs> okay, just catch a Brachiosaur. So he goes in here. Okay, so for my last turn, I'm going to use uh, one supply to use my Adreno injectors. So that means that I can take one of my guy and put it on an empty space. Okay. So I am going to come here. Now this one means I will spend one more supply to take back all my barriers and see if I can arrange them later <laughs> okay okay and I can also put one uh, dinosaur to my ranch but my dinosaurs are in medical leaves oh so. yeah from your holding area yes. yeah mm -hmm. okay so that's it so okay. uh, next we retrieve our ranchers
Okay, everybody's home. Retrieve and then arrange the ranch. And arrange the ranch, okay, so that's easy enough this time. Okay, so I'm gonna come here and one. Oh, ho, 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 I think it's not enough. I shouldn't have taken this. Oh, he might, he might destroy a barrier. Yeah, like, hang on a sec. Wow, this is not enough. <laughs> The problem here is these guys are not going to have... Oh, oh, there's not going oh, to be oh, enough oh, space oh, in there, is there? Yeah. I sh instead of taking that, I should have taken a, a barrier. barrier. Hmm. Hang on, let's see. If I put them here, it's still not enough. Wow. Oh yeah, that's that's a, oh. a difficult situation there. But if I put, uh, if I put that here, they can't breed. Yeah. Ah, oh, but what I can do is hang on. Instead, remove these guys here. Put my more expensive dinosaurs <laughs> there so then they can breed yeah you still need they to close it off so it's closer it's close there oh yeah it's close here right there you go yeah that'll work and these three guys are not going to breed because these guys can breed too oh that's true yeah these guys are not going to breed but that's okay and these are two herbivores, so they will escape later after feeding, no? Uh, they'll escape during the the rearranged ranch. They'll escape at this stage. Yes, yeah, so they're both herbivores. So they are going to escape. So these two. Okay, so you lose one barrier. So I lose one barrier, so that means... So They're these guys won't breed. breed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You'll still get your two Allosauruses. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Next so feeding dinosaurs. Feeding. So I guess you're going to use your additives. Yeah. I am going to use my dino food additives. So this is now discarded to feed all of my dinosaurs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a very useful card. Yeah. Okay. And I have. Let me see. So two, four, five, six leaves will do it. So that brings me down to four. And I need one meat. It's just the one meat, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. So... So breeding. Breeding. So I get my two uh, Allosaurus. Two baby Allosaurus. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that's a lot of points there. And I just get yeah. a Brachiosaur in here. Okay. So then we refresh for next round. And okay. That's we it. don't need to do that. Okay. So yeah. that's it. So final scoring. Final scoring. <laughs> okay. I think that I can't catch up with you here. So on the back of this round card, now we have a final scoring. So we will do, first of all, contracts. So, contracts. So let's put one of our, two of our workers out there. we will use the give yeah. a big and a small one there. And yes. we'll use them to mark the scores. So what did you get for your contracts? 27. 27. Okay. So this is 20 and 7. And for my contracts, I got... Uh, 10, 20, 30, 38, and 3 is 41. So, 41. Wow. Yeah, but I think your dinosaurs <laughs> are going to be enough to, <laughs> to take care of that. Okay, next, research. Research. So, this will give me 5 because I have all 
I have the most carnivores. <laughs> yeah, I, I have so. two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. so nine points. So that's nine and seven is 16. So this is six and this moves on to 13. Okay. And how about you? Uh, I get three, four, six, eight. So I get eight and one is nine. Okay. So the next is dinosaurs. Okay, you okay. get a lot of score here, right? I think so I have one, two, three, four, five, six times four. Okay, so that's 24. 24 plus, uh, I already counted that. I should have yep. made a contract out of that. So 24 four. and six is 30 and three is 33. 33. Wow, so that's uh, 30 goes up to 60. One, two, three, sixty-nine, and I get a measly nine. <laughs> nine. Yeah. So that's uh, nine, and nine is eighteen. So this goes up to there. And where are we now? Contracts. And that's fifty-eight to sixty-nine. So you win by eleven points. Oh, wow. Well done. <laughs> Great game. Yeah. I picked up the Dinocheris in the first round and it turned out to be great for getting resources. Especially in the early game, getting resources from your ranch twice means you don't have to worry about food to feed your dinosaurs and you can collect a lot of them. The first player token is huge in this game. You get the first choice of all of the research cards and you can grab a contract if it looks like your opponent is going for the same one as you. That is why I took Ankylosaurus. I knew Pat wouldn't want to pay two meat to get the token back, so I get to go first for most of the game. I tried to get a Velociraptor in the late game there, hoping to use the action to move it from my holding area to my ranch to fulfill a contract. But then I rolled a wound and the dinosaur ended up in medical leave, so I had to waste another action to get another Velociraptor. A lot of my strategy today was based around my research cards. Adreno Injectors is fantastic, especially if you get it out early. It gives you an extra action for one supply, and that is huge for a worker placement game. Both of the private contracts that I had required unique dinosaurs. I ended up picking up a lot of unique dinosaurs, but then I liked what they were doing and I didn't want to spend them. I would have been better off concentrating on regular dinosaurs and making sure that I had enclosures to put them in. The Dino Food Additive is a very powerful card. It is very good to keep that one for end of the game. That way you can fill up your ranch with dinosaurs without worrying how to feed them. And after breeding, you can get a big score for that. So that's it for today. You have been watching Tiny Epic Dinosaurs on All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thanks a lot for staying with us. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye. Bye.